Hello and welcome back to Factorio C Block. In our last episode, we set up this biome planner, optimized biome planner, science pack build, which required us to process these uh, various gardens we were finding throughout the world into, uh, at the time at least, a pack of seeds. And uh, let's see here, uh, this one. A pack of seeds uh, and some of these uh, alien plant life samples. I and mean, we get random seeds, but not a great amount of seeds. Uh, and only 16 of these alien plant life samples. But as you can tell, I had this one switched over to the 32 that we unlocked with the, the second unlock. Something about Garden Processing 2, maybe? I don't remember. Yes, Garden Processing 2, which we also unlocked last time. Uh, as you saw, I unlocked a new uh, technology here, Temperate Farming 1. And we're going to queue up the next two, which is uh, Desert and Swamp. It doesn't horribly matter which order, because we're going to look at them all today. But they all require 32 of the science optimized bio planner science packs uh, in order to complete them, which is why I have switched it over to the 32 uh, of those things. And we actually have quite a lot of these optimized bio planner science packs uh, queued up up here. In fact, we have more of them than we have, oh, I mean, that we have made of the uh, the red and green, but then again, the red and green, you need four times as many. So there is that. So we're going to take a look at farming today. And the reason I switched these over to the better version is because they, um, we don't need any more seeds. I have counted and collated and hopefully organized all these seeds in the correct manner that we can now make things so i have a lot uh, in most cases i have vegetables which as you'll see shortly we'll be able to process each of those vegetables into their seeds so we have wheaton tienton okinariamone elendilamone zombieliptus there's one missing here on purpose uh benefran Prime Dedalian and Nilaubrigine. And then over here we have seeds for Wheaton, which we had the, the plant Wheaton. Uh, we ha don't have any TNN seeds, but TNN seeds, but we have that. Okinaramon seeds, those go with the Okinaramon, of course. There's one missing here, that's the Elendilamone seed. Zombieliptus seed, which we had Zombie. Zambi eucalyptus, uh, Sons, Sons Chris seed, which is the plant we were missing. Uh, but we have five of those seeds, which is all we actually need. A bunch of Binafran seeds, Prime Dedalian seeds, and Nilaubergine seeds. And so that means that and the rest of this stuff will be used uh, with later generations of this. That means we can get farming because we have at least um, five of each seed, or in some cases, we have the plant that we need in order to. Um, uh, in order to make those seeds but as you'll see in a moment here as i've prepared uh not all plants can be made into seeds so we'll first start with well the first one we unlocked which was the uh the the um temperate farming which is wheaton tyanaton and okinaramon uh we can look at each of those a little bit here but you can see that they take soil and they take the seeds, of course, and they take water. That's pretty simple, pretty easy. The next one is Binafran, which takes sand and saline water along with the seeds. And so does the Prime Dedalian, and so does the Nilaubergine. And then finally, which is going to unlock in just a moment, right there, we have the Elendilamone, which requires mud and viscous mud water. These are the swamp ones, by the way. These ones were the desert ones. These ones were the temperate ones. Uh, zombie eucalyptus, which takes mud and heavy mud water in addition to the seeds. And finally, sun's crest, which takes mud and concentrated mud water and the seeds. So uh, you probably can um, figure out where these heavy mud water and concentrated mud water, in addition to the viscous mud water, come from. So we're going to take a look at those. But also, um, we have... Uh, not just the ability to grow plants from the seeds, we also have the ability to get seeds, extract seeds from the plants. So that was uh, that was Wheaton. So if we come in here, we have the same kind of setup here with uh, three recipes, one for each type of seed, and I've gone over them fast because I don't want to show them all yet uh, exactly, but uh, we can take five Wheaton and turn it into five to six seeds, 5.5 5 seeds, but it ends up being five or six depending on random chance, I guess. Uh, let's clear that flash too, by the way. But when we take five seeds into this recipe, we get 40 to 60 Wheaton out of it. So obviously there's a, there's a explosive growth in terms of the plants and the seeds and things so we have that um uh, and then but then uh that that formula works for the first two of each type tyanaton uh elendilamone zombie eucalyptus 
Binafran and Prime Dedalian all work the same way, where you make a certain number, the number varies, but a certain number of plants, and then you turn five of those plants into uh, um, five and a half seeds, which works out great. But then there is the Okinaramon, the Sanscrest, and the uh, Nilau Regine, all of which were, all of which work the same way, but again having slightly different yields on the product itself. So Okinaramon, uh, it doesn't produce it, it produces the plant of course, but it also produces this byproduct called dormant Okinaran Okinaran home seed. And the same thing happens for the other two as well. And those go into this process, which is a little different, which takes those dormant seeds and spits out five viable seeds plus a five percent chance for an additional seed which is kind of an interesting thing it's a little bit different process a little bit different step but instead of having you just turn you know five of the plant into five of the seeds instead now you actually have to get these dormant seeds uh, of which uh, they are limited you get you get five of them each time and you turn those five back into 5.05 uh, uh, seeds viable seeds that you can then plant into the farm so all that to say that uh, there's two processes here, um, but there's also three processes here. So there really is about six different processes here if you multiply the two uh, of the of the nine total combined processes. Um, so we're going to set these up. Uh, I've talked a bit, but we're going to set them up and try and figure out how we want to handle this. Uh, so we're, we'll start with the uh, one of the simple ones, which is Wheaton. And I guess I should have left this, although I think I want to have... A little extra space here. Uh, Wheaton and Wheaton, and then I want to have uh, just a simple inserter path here. Um, maybe I want, I'm going to want to put on this side just for reasons. Uh, and then I need a bunch of boxes, which I didn't make. I made a bunch of other things, but I didn't make boxes. Make a bunch there, that's fine. Make a bunch of boxes. And I'm going to limit all these to one box or one, um, one cell. Uh, and that'll work out fine. This will work out fine for the six. Uh, but we'll have to do something slightly different for the other uh, three. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to pre-fill in any of the Wheaton that I have here. Uh, no, I lied. Uh, that's not where the Wheaton goes. The Wheaton seeds go there because they're going into this. And then the Wheaton would go here. And we'll have the same thing uh, for all the other ones. Uh, the other five of the other ones. And those will just kind of feed in a cycle. We'll feed the water in, we'll feed some soil in, and then we'll make some seeds out of them, feed them back in there. And once we have a full stack, which is 500, uh, and you can see that, by the way, in F4, and then show debug info and tooltips uh, here. Uh, you can see the item stack size is 500. And then over here also, item stack size is 500. So once we have 500 seeds and 500 plants, uh, then we can, then this will, this will actually stop. And we're gonna do this exact process for all of the things. Uh, three, and then I'm going to leave some space. I don't know that's exactly where I'm going to put them yet. Actually, I know it's not where I'm going to put them because they are too big. Uh, and I also don't know if this is the way that I want them laid out. But we're going to lay these out somehow like this. Uh, that's why I made nine. And then we're going to also actually duplicate this uh, mostly, but we're going to tweak it for the third one of each. And then we can... Um, I should have just copied the whole thing, I guess, uh, like that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna obviously make make changes here. So we want to have this one be Tanatin, and this one will also be Tanatin. This one here is going to be Okinaramon, but remember we have two products here, so we have to make a tweak to that uh, Okinaramon. And then we'll do uh, Elendilamon here. I'm probably mispronouncing these words because I'm not really reading them that well. Uh, zombie here. How about we just do it that way? And uh, Sonsk right here. And again, that one's got to have a chain vein to it. And then we need Bina and uh, Bina. And then we need Prime Dead and Prime Dead. And then we need Nilau and Nilau. All right, so the changes. I don't have enough boxes. Some more boxes. The changes are we need some filter inserters. Uh, we haven't used these yet, but we unlocked them a while back. And I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And they use regular inserters in order to make them, uh, which I'm going to need some more regular inserters too. Uh, we're going to put those in here and here like this, and then put another box in there. And what I want to do with this is to set this filter to be, uh, this case, it's uh, the dormant Okinari seeds. And then this will be the Okinari. 
And actually, I need to make sure this is also set to one one uh, cell. Let's do it this way. Uh, you and nope, not you. Delete, delete. These ones, just these ones. Okay, and then we need to do the same thing we did here with the filters. Also here, and also here, and I'm apparently short a box. Oh, there you are, good job. Uh, this will be um, these seeds, sons? Yes. And this will be the actual sond plant. Oh, I screwed up. That goes there. This one should have actually been not this seed, but the plant itself. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing over here for the Nilao. We need uh, the Nilao dormants, and then we need the Nilao plants, which are here. And so then we'll take care of our basics now. Uh, the next part we have to do is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we need water here. Maybe this one will be best served on this side. Although it's also going to need uh, soil, which we're going to get from up here. This one here will need the three different muds. And actually, it's backwards for the way that I have them potentially here. Uh, I may change that then. Um, or actually, maybe I won't. And then these will need the... Um, the saline water, which you can get from this process here. And also, I added a third one of these along the way because I noticed that this was backing up and they weren't flushing at all. And you'll see the third one does occasionally run uh, just sidebar there. Uh, and then these need um, sand, which we're going to get from up here. And these need mud, which we're going to get from right here. So other than these being in the wrong order, because of course they are, I don't think I want to change anything to that. So let's do this. That's you needed soil. Yeah, I think I'm going to move the swamp ones over to that direction and the desert ones over here in the middle. Let's go like one, two, three away. And then we'll move you guys down here. One, two, three away. And I can just rearrange things however I decide they need to be. And we're going to siphon the muddy water stuff off of here, but what I need to do first is I need to change uh, a little bit here, because I need to not only get um, the, the viscous mud water out of this, I need to get the heavy mud water out of this, and then we already can get the um, concentrated mud water out of this. So what I need to do is move... Oof, this is going to be a big oof. Uh, move these guys starting here all to the right by one but I also need to move this to the or to the left excuse me to the left by one uh, let's do that and then we'll do this and I also need to move all of this to the left by one but I hope they all stay connected there and that's not you that's you. Not right there. Good. This can be reconnected here and here and there and there. And obviously also we need pipes here, there, here, and there. And then we also need pipes connecting these two machines together on all four uh, setups. So that takes care of that. Uh, we will have um, viscous mud water coming down this way. Uh, coming out of here and going into this one. So we're going to have to crisscross these a little bit. That'll be fine. We can have this one coming down. And if I move these over just a couple of tiles, uh, one tile actually, then I can have this all aligned disturbingly perfectly. Uh, let's go right there. Uh, and then this one here will come out from that because that's the uh, concentrated mud water. And that'll come over to this one. So we're, these are going to crisscross in the middle here, but... Uh, Okay, so you'll come down some amount and then cross... This one will come down all the way. And then into there. Should I... Maybe I should actually move these up also. Yeah, let's do that. Just because I am weird. Uh, let's do that then. Uh, the bots are working hard today. That's fine. Oh, they're also going to need some power too. I forgot about that. Uh, let's do power... Ooh. Let's do power right here. I like that idea. And then we'll just connect it up to something to make sure that it all works. And that'll work out fine. Uh, they might need... Yep, they'll need cross-connectivity in between. And then they need to be connected up... Over here, maybe. I got in between there. Couldn't move. There we go. Lights on. Okay, now we can see everybody. 
All right, so that's connected, or that's ready to go. This one is connected. Uh, we need to bring into these ones mud. So I want to change the way that mud is working here, too. Uh, in fact, I want to reverse this entire belt. Uh, let's do this like this. Mm, I might have botched something there along the way. What did I do? Something happened, but I'm not sure what happened. Uh, but this is going to come out this way then, and then the mud will go over to these guys here. And they're going to need to have inserters, obviously, inserting. So we'll do something like that, maybe. And power. Maybe like this and like this. Yeah, that'll work out. And then they'll come down into there. Um... I suppose I can crisscross these pipes now. Let's do here to here. And then he careful. Maybe there to there. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, straight pipes there, there, here, and there. And then this could be connected. Oh, you might as well get these started. Uh, we can go ahead and feed them in. Uh, you need stuff. Uh, I had mud in my pocket, apparently. But I don't have any of these seeds. But what I do have is the plant. And the plant's going to make the seeds, and then the seeds are going to go to work. So we can do that again, and then this again. And then this again, and then that again. We don't have any of those uh, seeds either. Those dormant seeds. But this is going to grow enough of the dormant seeds to keep us, to get us started up and going. Uh, so everything should be working in this, this section over here. And then we need, for this one, saline water. So what I'd like to do for that is to grab all these and bump this over at least one tile. And I think one tile is actually all we need. Uh, and then these power poles need to go with. That'll work. And then we need to change this also a little bit. Uh, actually, that comes out. That uh, uh, valve. And this can come in like this. That can come out. And then we just need a valve... Oh, I need to go over one more. I lied. One more. It's fine. Uh, and then we need that valve again. That's an overflow valve here. That'll go in here. That's a good enough place as any. And we could just do a straight piece of pipe here. That's fine. But this way we have this... This can be connected now down and into these. Who will need... Something like this, I suppose be the easiest. Maybe I want to move that down then some more. Uh, this, that, and this. I could come in this way. And then we need to bring sand in here. Uh, ooh, that's... Let's do this, that, and this. We bring sand in here. We'll get sand up there. We'll bring it down in just a moment. And then this one just needs water, which is the disturbingly easiest one of all of them, I guess, in a way. Uh, I guess I could hook this up there, maybe? Uh, of course, I'm off by one again. What if I moved you guys over there instead? Then you wouldn't be able to connect across between here and there, but we could do maybe something like this. That would be fine. And then this can go here, and then this can go here, and that's connected up. Water we could get from just about anywhere, but I'm just going to steal it from here. I think that's fine. And so let's bring you down some amount, and over... Maybe in the same vein as this? Um, maybe. Yeah, that'll work out fine. Let's do this. I guess I should have grabbed the power poles too. There. But actually, we could just bring this into here. Then. That'll work. Okay, so that'll bring water to them. So they just need mud. Uh, soil, rather, and we need uh, sand, and then we need to cross-connect these guys. Sand and uh, soil. Sand is right here, and what I think we're just going to do is split this here. But what I think I'm going to do is not use this soil, because we already borrowed some of it from here and some of it from there. And instead, take the sand and compost we have here, and just do a another set of this. Uh, what is that, six of them? I made five, but that's fine. We'll do six. 
Uh, we could do a G flip for reasons that are not obvious. But do that and then bring this down this way. And make one more of those buildings. And then we can do this. And then for here, we can just split this. Oopsie. Split this. Uh, do a right priority for... Soil. Right? No, uh, sand. Oopsie. Right priority for sand. Uh, where's sand? There's sand. Okay, the soil will come down and sand will come down. Could bring them together, I suppose, but actually that's not a good plan. Let's do this. Uh, this comes out, that comes out. This comes down. And this goes over here. Okay, so this should kick these six off right away. Let's go take a look at... Oh, we gotta, we gotta feed them first. Hold on. Uh, you get those. You get these. You don't have any of those. Right, of course. These and those. These and those. These and those. Don't have those. Those. We don't have those. And these. These and those. And I have a little bit of something left here. Uh, you guys need some of those. Uh, you guys need some of these. They could just go in the box, too, I suppose. Ooh, look, we got uh, stuff grown. Uh, that looks like everything. Yeah, there's everything. So these ones are working. Uh, we have output here. There's no output here yet because uh, we're using all of it to make into seeds. Once we have 500 seeds, we will be done. I could limit these using the circuit network, but I don't really care that much. They make so fast. And once they're made, then it'll just be using a tiny amount. Oh, I didn't connect the, the sand belt all the way. Oopsie. Okay. Um, so that... Well, let's take it going. This one's running. You can see that. This one is waiting on me. Or waiting on uh, mud. Uh, soil. Soil. This one is waiting on soil. These three are all waiting on sand. So let's go take a look at one more thing here. Because we covered two of these recipes. Uh, making the... Uh, product and making the seeds we didn't cover the third step in all of this which is making or which is what you do with each of these and actually we're not going to do that today we're going to do that next time because that's a whole process into itself and i just want you to know that this is not the end of this step this is only the uh the, the middle really uh because we we're now making the product and making the seeds and now we need a bunch of the product made for each of the nine products and then we can turn that into another product which can then be used down the line further so this is uh you know this is uh regional or biome farming i guess really uh one part one of two and then we'll get into the part two next time and then we can kind of continue into the uh, the next bits, uh, the time after that, I don't know what I did there. I don't know what I was doing there, I mean. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's make sure these are all working before we go. You're working. Uh, you haven't... Oh, there you go. You started. As long as you kick back this way, we're good to go. Uh, you are starting up now. Actually, I think they're all starting up now, yeah. I like how you actually are seeing things kind of growing and there's like progress being made. That's kind of a nice, uh, neat little effect that uh, I guess Angel has done on this, or Angel the Angel's team, I should say, has done on these. I'm not sure if these are Angel himself that did these, or this is a group effort of, that was made later or added after Angel retired, I guess. This one's running, and Neil Aubergine is getting, getting going. As long as that kicks off and then it kicks them back, we are good. So I'm going to let these run for a little bit until we have uh, maximum, until they've, they've stopped, basically. And then we'll come back in the next episode and uh, we'll take a look at that second half of uh, biome-specific farming. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all then. Bye for now.